Hi! I seem to have run out of smart things to say in the intro of this video, so I think we should just make it shorter and move along, which is something that very rarely happens on this channel. Today we have a new video on how to tell a difference if your Hoya is about to flower or is it just a new growth. Now, don't get me wrong, new growth is just as exciting as a flower, but also let's try not to lie ourselves and Let's admit that we do love to see our Hoyas in bloom. This video perhaps may not be of use to a lot of you who are Hoya veterans, and I assume there are many of you in the comments, but it will be useful for people who are just getting into Hoyas now, and I just sense we have more and more new people every day. I just sense we have more and more new people every day. For a lot of us who start to grow Hoyas, it becomes quite easy to tell over time what is the difference between a new growth and a peduncle, and it is very rare that you are wrong, but I do think that a lot of new people do wonder about these things because I often see this in groups. Now, the idea for this video did not just come to me, it was suggested by my friend Nerdy Kathy, and I will link her channel down below, and I do suggest that you go and check out her YouTube channel because it is fantastic. And I thought, yeah, it is actually a good idea, and I was surprised that I did not make a video on this sooner. I did divide this video into several chapters, so it will be easy for you to navigate and to skip to whichever part interests you the most, but I do suggest you watch this video in full because when it's done and when you have arrived at the end, you will experience probably not much. But, you know, it's, it's a YouTube video. Lower the expectations. I did try to take as many photos as possible to show you all the things that I'm talking about, but Taking photos of new growth and peduncles while they are small is quite a task. It's very difficult, actually, so the photos are not that great, but at the end of the day, very few things are great. Except Catherine the Great, or better say, The Great, the TV show. Quite a few misconceptions in that show, though, especially related to horses. There's just... Not a place where I will not take these videos. Anyways, before this turns into a very long ramble, I think it's just best we begin. I think we quite often wonder about flowering plants and how to tell if they are about to bloom or not. And then when it comes to other plant communities, especially the orchid community, there are many videos that will help you figure out if you have a new flower spike or if it's at an aerial root, for example, with Phalaenopsis orchids. You know, that kind of becomes confusing. And with every flowering plant, there seems to be some type of a rule. And I really wanted to make this video to help you out and also to, you know, invite everyone who has been growing Hoyas for a long time to write in the comment below what their experience was. But, you know, I wanted to help out people who are just starting out with Hoyas to share my experience and how I know when my Hoya has a peduncle or a new growth. And... Don't worry if it's not clear right away. It will become clearer with time as you get more and more Hoyas to bloom. You will start to notice and, you know, at one point it you will be surprised. You will be able to tell when it's very small if it's new growth or peduncle. So it takes a bit of a practice, but I hope that this video kind of serves as a guide for you. And, you know, maybe it will help you figure out sooner because when I was starting out with Hoyas four years ago, I, 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 with some of the plants, I was just looking in all the wrong places. It was like, oh, I don't know. Where are you looking? Where is it? Where does it come from? What does it do? Chapter one. Where do the peduncles form? Can you tell that I've been lately into audiobooks? This would be a great spot for a sponsorship. Call me. Or email me, because it's 2022. When it comes to Hoya inflorescence, it can be either auxiliary or terminal. In most species, however, it is more common for them to be auxiliary and to form at the node. However, some like Hoya linearis or Hoya bella will present themselves as terminal. Now, all of that is fine and dandy, but another thing comes from the node, and that is the new growth. So, you can see it becomes a bit difficult to tell, is it a new peduncle or is it new growth? Now, there are some misconceptions about Hoyas and flowering and cutting off the branches and whatnot. 
I will not get into those at this video because it will be extremely long and we're trying to keep it short, keep it focused, keep it... Well, that's about it. And if anyone is confused as to where to look for the nodes, it is very easy. It is where the petiole of the leaf meets the stem. Since we have now established where do these peduncles come from, now we can talk a bit what do new peduncles look like. Now, I will put some photos of peduncles of my Hoyas in several different stages so you can see how they look when they are very small as they get larger. You will see examples of some Hoyas like Hoya fungi, which has a pubescent stem, and you will see how that kind of looks. I find that it becomes a bit more difficult when it comes to Hoya Thompsoni and Hoya Lee because some of the clones can be very pubescent, so, you know, it kind of takes just going through the hair. For some Hoyas, it is much easier to tell when they are about to bloom than others. For example, I find Hoya Retusa to be quite easy because they will bloom with one flower and it will look kind of like a needle with plastic ball at the top. For some others, like Hoya Flagellata, it is a bit more difficult because stem is pubescent, so it will be a bit pubescent and it will take a bit of time for you to tell. Also, the peduncle is very thin, so, you know, in those cases, it does become a bit more challenging. However, there are some telltale signs to tell you how to distinguish a new growth from a peduncle. Peduncles will be a bit more rounded, a bit flatter. When it comes to new growth, it will be more pointier than a peduncle. It will be just a sharper thing coming out of your Hoya. That was just not the best analogy possible, was it? Also with new growth, more often than not, you will see very tiny, very small baby leaves just closed around that new growth. Again, with some Hoyas, you will have no issue telling. Hoya Loki, Hoya Multiflora, very easy to tell, especially because they grow quite fast. With some Hoyas, especially when they get a woodier stem, Oh, then it's a bit tricky because first it looks like the stem is cracking and then something is coming out. It's a bit traumatizing. <laughs> but if you wait a couple of days, you should be able to tell the difference. Again, I will show you photos of some peduncles that are very small and you will see what they look like and you will see that they will kind of be flatter than pointier and when it's pointier, you just know that it is a new growth. If everything is okay, and if your peduncle continues to grow, then in the next several days, it becomes even easier if, you know, the first stage was not so clear to you. In the next stage, you will see small, tiny buds forming on your peduncle, and they will look like small spheres on your peduncle. Sometimes it will look as if the surface is divided in several sections, but as the time goes on, you will start to see kind of small spheres forming. And at that point, you can pretty much be sure that that is definitely not a new growth. It is a peduncle. What will happen with some of the Hoyas, like Hoya fungi and Hoya flagellata, is that maybe you will not be able to tell as quickly, but what you will see is that the structure that formed from the node of the plant will grow and then at some point will stop and then it will be flatter at the end. And if you take a closer look, and I will show you the photos of my Hoya fungi, you will see that there are small divisions in there, which is a telling sign that this is a peduncle indeed. Now, when you have identified your peduncle or new growth, but hopefully a peduncle, what do you do next? Do you adjust your hair? Well, yes and no. It depends in what stage you noticed the peduncle and just really what the stage of the peduncle is. If the peduncle has grown and if the buds are forming, then make sure to pay attention to how you water your plant. A very known thing and a very unfortunate term, it seems, in the Hoya community that some Hoyas will blast their buds. A lot of people commented on, on me using blasting buds and I'm sorry, I did not come up with the term, I just use it. It is a term that is used in Hoya community. Anyways, let's just move on from the blasting. And also unfortunate. Some Hoyas will be more prone to this than others. Hoya Multiflora, Hoya Loki, Hoya Bella, all of those Hoyas that require a bit more water will actually want more water at one stage when the peduncle has grown big enough. Many things can go wrong. If you move your Hoya around, you can lose the peduncle, the entire peduncle, and that 
has happened. Don't worry, your Hoya will bloom again. Maybe it just wasn't ready. In fact, some Hoyas do this a lot, but I will talk about that in the next chapter, section, whatever this video will have. When it comes to my Hoyas and what I do when I see them forming a peduncle or when I see that a peduncle has grown to a certain size, I make sure that I really do not dry them out. If you do dry them out and if the leaves become limp and very soft and you can just bend them in any which direction, unless it's Hoya multiflora and any thin-lived Hoya, that is typically not a good sign. That's not something that you should allow to happen. Make sure that your plant is hydrated because flowering does take more energy. And if you don't water your plant, don't really expect the peduncle to continue growing. There are of course exceptions. There are always exceptions, but from my experience, especially with Hoyas that are like Multiflora and Loki and thinner leaved Hoyas, if you let them dry out way too much at this stage, you can kiss your peduncle goodbye doesn't sound quite right there. When the peduncle is very small, yes, then you can get away with watering less. That's not a big deal. But once they have reached a certain size and once they have started to grow larger, you really don't want to underwater your plant. Another thing that may help your Hoya, and again, this is not a sure thing, but I have seen it help my Hoyas, is to provide them with enough light. Sometimes they will push out a peduncle and just stop that will be it. My Hoya undulata, my mother plant of Hoya undulata did that. It pushed out not one, two peduncles and it decided to take a break. They are very small and they didn't grow much. It is under a weaker light in my Millsbo cabinet. However, the cutting that I took from that plant and I took the cutting about the same time when I saw the peduncle and the cutting did not have a new growth or a peduncle coming from the node. I just rooted the cutting and I put it in my grow tent and basically it pushed out a peduncle and the buds grew and they are larger than the ones on the mother plant. Actually, they're not even visible on the mother plant. So I think that higher light and warmth really worked for this Hoya and possibly increased humidity. I know that some people will say, well, it was just stressed and all that, but it really wasn't under any sort of stress. It didn't start to push a peduncle until it was rooted. I just think that the higher light contributed to making the peduncle faster. In fact, it happened with several of the Hoyas in my grow tent. With the higher light, they started to push out peduncles. This will not work for every Hoya. There are some Hoyas that will push out peduncles when the length of the day is shorter, with some when the length of the day is longer, some will bloom when it gets colder, and you know, there are many different theories, and I do think there are many different things that will trigger your Hoya to bloom, but that is not a topic for this video. That is, a, I think, in my opinion, a very complex topic. And I think a lot of people jump to conclusions as to what made their plant bloom. Again, not gonna get into it. And I suggest you don't either. Don't invest. Now, the last part and possibly the most important one. How long will it take from the peduncle to flower? And I'm sorry to tell you this, but... Hoyas do tease us a lot and, you know, it may be several weeks, it can be up to a month, couple of months, or it can be much longer than that. In fact, oftentimes what will happen, Hoyas will drop the peduncle, especially the young ones. This is very frequent. In my experience for Hoya Bella, I had several different Hoya Bellas, several different clones, and they all kind of do this. You know, you root them, they start to grow, they push out a peduncle, the buds start to grow, and the next day you just look at it and it's yellow and gone. There is this information passed around in the Hoya community's general truth, and, you know, it may or may not be true, but I'm just gonna relay it to you. They say that some Hoyas will push out peduncles to see if they can bloom. And if they can, great. And if they cannot, well, they're just done with that peduncle. And that is fine. I honestly do believe eventually you will get your Hoya to bloom. Maybe I won't get my Hoya Polinero to bloom because that one pushes out peduncles with every node and every time the buds start to grow a bit and then poof, they're gone. And I think it's because it's way too hot for that plant here. It has to be because I have no other explanation. I tried natural light, it didn't work. I tried lowering the temperature a bit, it didn't work. 
I tried more, less water, I tried many things, many nodes, many peduncles, and many blasting buds. Another thing that can happen is your Hoya can start to produce a peduncle, and then it will stop growing. And it will be frozen in time. And it will just stand there looking petrified, and that's it. I had had this happen on some of my Hoyas. For example, my Hoya verticillata, outer variegated Hoya verticillata, very early on, it pushed out a peduncle and I was very excited and then it was done. The peduncle grew a couple of millimeters and it was done. It doesn't look dry, it doesn't look dead, but for whatever reason, it just decided it's not the time, it's not ready. I do believe this plant will bloom, hopefully soon, and some Hoyas, you know, they are more notorious when it comes to flowering. For some, you will need longer time, for some, you will need less. In fact, you may or may not be seeing a video very soon on Hoyas that are easiest to bloom. Stay tuned. So yeah, there isn't really a way for anyone to tell you how long it will take. It may take several weeks, several months, or several years. There is really no way to tell. If your Hoya has pushed out several peduncles and it's trying to bloom and the buds keep falling off, then something is probably wrong when it comes to care. The conditions are not right. The plant is ready, but possibly some of the conditions are wrong. And then, you know, if I were you, I would look a bit into that. But sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes they push out the peduncle, it looks petrified, and you just have to wait longer. Sometimes the entire peduncle will fall off for no apparent reason, and I wouldn't worry unless it happens all the time. Then again, I would look into my care and what could be wrong with the plant. That is all for today. I think this is quite a short video in Miro's terms and when it comes to this channel, but I hope that it was useful. Again, I know that the Hoya veterans already know this and much, much, much more. Maybe some of them have x-ray and they can tell even before the peduncle has pushed out from the node. You know, I just wanted to share what I know, what I experienced, and what I noticed on my plants. And I hope that some of you will find this information useful. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, well, I do not know what you are waiting. Please do not be waiting for a horror peduncles before you subscribe because it may take a while. I would like to hear from you in the comments below, especially from Hoya veterans, but anyone is welcome to join. What are some of the signs that you have noticed? What do you do when you notice peduncles? Do you adjust the care at a certain point, you know, once they grow a bit larger? Or do you just Hope it will all work out. Let me know. I would like to hear that. And that is it. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I will see you very soon with another Hoya video. Because do I even have to explain myself? Bye! I would like to take some time to thank my patrons. A massive shout out to my $5 patrons. One anonymous patron, Aurelise, Betsy Begonia, Bonnie Harris, Carrie, Cynthia Taylor, Danube Daniels, Estelle, Farah, Houseman Heather, Hoya Heather, Kelso, Kristen, Sherwood, Mars B, Martina, Alif, Perde, Melissa Walker, Nicole Ferranti, Nicole and Caleb of Schleif Tropicals, PJ, Plants by Misha, Rachel, Colette, Conroy, Robin L, Jennings, Stephanie, H2O, Spinach Geek, Tanya, TJWO, Vicky Dingler, Wojta Takac, Wendy Foreman, and Zlokop Nipani. Also, a big thank you to my $3 patrons. Angelina Farman, Brana Phillips, Catherine G. Cologne, Claudia L., David Candia, Jerry's Garden, Lisa Helling, Lori Murphy, Morgan Kennedy, Nella, Nerdy Kathy, Nikki Plantolenia, Ringlove, Ruby, and Sheila Mason Casper. And a thank you to my $1 patrons, Caroline, Erin Keenan, Lauren M., Marissa Summerfield, Ran Lambert, and Tang Watanas Cool. Thank you so much for incredible support. I hope that this video was still fun for you to watch. I do assume most of you are Hoya veterans, but eh, what can you do? Sometimes it is good to have videos like these so people who are new to Hoyas can learn as well. I hope you're staying safe and I will see you soon. Goodbye!